George, can you share with our audience a little bit about the uh, PPVC kind of requirement for, for our audience who is the first time exploring new launchers? Share with them the differences between <coughs> PPVC and government land sales in terms of knockable walls. Mm. Why, so why is there this, this requirement? So if you take a look at uh, Tembusu Grand, um, if you see all the walls, they are all thick and bold walls, which also means that uh, they cannot be hacked down. Uh, if you have the strength to hack down, then it's quite impressive. Lah. So all these are actually, uh, so these are actually uh, government land sale. Uh, whereas for on block sites, uh, usually on block sites they do not have this uh, particular requirement. So I think what the developer will do is then you know they have certain other areas that are the load bearing walls, mm -hmm. and then of course the rest will then be walls that you can hack down. Uh, also means that it gives you more flexibility. You know nowadays a lot of people like to combine the bedrooms and expand the space. Mm. So. Yeah. So, so I, I think, think there's a, a there's also a reason why of course mm. like uh we are trending towards PPVC because that is actually in a sense like uh more efficient in terms of construction. Right. Uh because it is think of it like a Lego brick, right? Yeah. So you have your own segment that is created offsite and then you transport them and then you set it up together so that can actually improve the efficiency of construction. Yeah. Uh that's why there's this PPVC method. Uh but I think for the continuums developer Hoi Hub and Sunway uh, what they do is actually they put in a lot of consideration in, in, in terms of deciding which wall should actually be load bearing so that they want to give the audience the flexibility uh, in terms of uh, expanding and creating spaces that suit their needs better. Mm. Right. So that's a special focus uh, for uh, the developer continuum when they are doing these floor plans. I understand that um, um, both of you have did a little bit of research on the future views if let's say somebody were to buy continuum mm. because um, I think it's important to know what is in store in future in terms of future government land sales or potential view uh, blockages. So let me go to Google Earth and then let's, let's uh, blast up in terms of uh, what we're going to see in futures. So let's talk a little bit about the site plan because the Prestige series is located at the top right corner of the north uh, site plan and the bottom left corner of the um, south site plan. So um, I think there's always a reason why developers want to place certain kind of uh, layouts at certain directions. Generally speaking, if you look at Continuum, the site plans are north-south uh, directional facing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, how do you all see in terms of like the future uh, kind of direction? Because there's a couple of the government land sales also popping up nearby. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, George branch through a little bit. Sure. So if you take a look at the continuum, right, the Prestige series are either located towards the top right or the bottom left. Top right, why top right? It's also because once you cross towards um, the other side uh, that is separating between uh, to, between uh, Tiam Siu, um, the plot ratio immediately drops down to a low of 1.4. So which also means that once you're on the higher floor, um, you will get this unblocked view. Why, right? It's also because if you take a look at this floor plan, uh, at this map over here, towards the north and towards the south, they are all high-rise building. Actually, towards the north, that is uh, towards Ipoh Lane, and then towards the south will then be towards Dunman area. So all those are high-rise, which also means that if you want to have pocket views, it is either towards the right-hand side, which is towards the 1.4 plot ratio, or towards on the left-hand side, which is also towards the 1.4 plot ratio. And that is where, you know, the Rose Lane, um, all those lower rise building are. So naturally, when you want to have uh, unblocked CBD facing, uh, you'll also be exposed to a bit of west sun. So uh, I think, you know, that's kind of the plus points and the uh, uh, fact that you have to accept that there will be west sun. But uh, on the other side, you'll be facing towards a lower rise uh, developments that is along the whole entire carton belt. Uh, however, that's provided you surpass the Hague Road HDBs, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Uh, roughly how Correct. many levels are the HDBs? I think that one... Should be about 13? About 12, 13? Yeah, I think 15, yeah, about there. Okay. 2.8 plot ratio. La. That means you have to go across maybe about 18 levels, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. There's one plot that I think... Um, George, yourself and Yuron brought up about the future government land sales on the, on the west side facing. Uh, where is the exact plot? So the west Grand side Dunman. facing, yeah. So, okay, so if you take a look over here, right? Yeah, where's uh, Grand Dunman? Grand Dunman is actually this plot. Mm. So this one. Slightly uh, triangular. Yeah, kind of slightly plot. triangular plot. So this is confirmed uh, to be Grand Dunman. But on this side, part of it is actually zoned as a residential. Mm. So this entire plot uh, right over here, just towards the right hand side of Geylang River, this right. is actually zoned as a 3.5 plot ratio residential plot. 
this part is still zoned as the army re, uh, army zoning. Right. Yeah. Mm. The base in future is going to be like 30 over levels. Very likely. And right. uh, likely your view will be going until here, then pump. Yeah. Come to a stop. <laughs> It's a great sound effect, by the way. Yes. Okay, but actually, in terms of uh, the views, you can see that uh, the maybe if we just pull out the site plan, right? You can see that actually the developer has uh, pushed the units in terms of the towers to the extreme ends of the site, and that is so that they can have better block-to-block -block distance between towers to the opposite end, and you actually have uh, the entire landscape and pool that is situated in between. So mm. that also offers. Uh, all the internal facing units, right, to have more uh, better view. And as well for the prestige units, let's say for the five beta, they are actually not looking towards the front. They're actually looking towards the right or left. So you can actually see the entire stretch yep. of your facilities as well as the pool view. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's how uh, the developer try to maximize the, in terms of your vantage point for all the different units. Actually having this route um, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing because mm. most of the developments, right, they are usually separated by landscaping and swimming pool. Right. and then a bit of a walkway path so mm. this one right you have swimming pool swimming pool as well as the road so i think the the, the setback the yeah the distance. block to block distance is actually very very good mm. Mm. how many lane would that road be is there an architect prefix on that like uh, is it a one directional currently right now it's a bi-directional one-way road so mm. of yeah. course uh, we'll need to expand it so i think it will at least be a uh, a bi-directional two-way on each direction right and um, my next question is that uh, there's going to be two entrances. Yes. All right. Yep. So one on the top left. One is here. Yes. One on the right. Yeah. Uh, and there's uh, a petrol station. Petrol station, I think, strategically done <laughs> in the sense that the closest stack uh, is actually quite far from that. Is there mm. going to be a basement car park? For both sides, there yes. are actually basement parking. Are uh, the two basement parking connected? They are not connected. Okay. Yeah. And uh, of course, coming back to the petrol station, right? So the in terms of the developer, they have also made sure that the entrance is actually creating the setback between the nearest block to the petrol station. There's mm. also going to be like a vertical wall from a visual standpoint that hides away the petrol station from the landscape kind of when you're in the landscape deck of continuum. Mm. So I think these are very, very thoughtful by the developers to, you know, like uh, take away all the visual negatives. Right. Let's, let's have a look at the site plan and uh, maybe our audience locate where's the bin center, where's the substation as well. Okay, so very interestingly actually for this project, all this has been taken care of. So all the services like our bin center and our substation, right, they are all hidden nicely actually at the car park already. At the basement car park? Yes. Fantastic. Position control, we have liftoff.